I'm just going to sleep. <laughs> you can go to sleep. You can go to sleep. This is Rachel at her desk, just sleeping. This is this is the this is the person's about to be a lawyer in less than a year. It's break time. Say aloud. My <laughs> ear. Why are you hiding? <laughs> Hey you guys, what is up? It's your girl Alma Governor back again with the da, 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 ba, ba, back again with the da, 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 ba, ba, back again with another a video. I'm trying to do it in a way that my classmates will not be wondering what the hell is wrong with this girl. You can tell from the title of today's video that it's it's a totally different video. I've never done any video like this before and I'm so so excited to do it. Now what's informed this video idea is the fact that when I was doing my LLB or even before I got into the law school, I always envisaged the Ghana law school students as you know the most perfect people in the world, you know, the most brilliant people in the world, which you know they are, but also I didn't even think they ever felt sleepy in class. I didn't think they ever did, I don't know, things like eating in class or buying, you know, making mistakes when they talk. I thought they were super, super eloquent. I thought I just would use these thoughts to discourage myself and say that I wasn't good enough and you know, all that. But in today's video, we're going to do tiny interviews of any Ghana law student who is willing to do the interview. We're going to be asking them very light questions, very funny questions like, do they ever get sleepy in class? You know, I'm not even sure. Rachel, my friend, helped me to list a number of questions that we're going to ask them. I want you guys to use this to just encourage yourselves, just tell yourselves that it's really nothing. And I'm not just talking about law students, I'm talking about anything you're doing in your life, even if you're working, right? And you are at a certain stage where you could get promoted because there are people way ahead of you. The people way ahead of you are not made of gold. They're not perfect. They're not, you know, they're not all that. You know, they're just human beings like yourself. It's really just a matter of hard work. It's not, it's not a magic thing. I've always had in my head that I'm not a natural shark, that I study for everything, and I feel like they're natural sharks. But honestly, in things like law, in things like, even in fact, in life, in so many aspects of life, there's no such thing as just magically and naturally knowing everything. Maybe there is, but for a lot of us, we have to work our way up there and it's totally fine you are you got this this life whatever you're doing whether you're a nurse whether you're a painter whether you're an artist whatever you are doing and you're you're looking at people ahead of you see i'll show you the people that sleep in this class oh forget they doze off right when the lecturer is right in front of them because human beings are not shit you are like human beings are just human beings and everyone is just striving to do their best in life so um without much i do let's get into the video uh -huh. Rebecca, have you ever slept in any class before plenty of <laughs> last semester i took in adr class that's six six to eight p.m no matter that you cannot consider i'll speak to you more in class well, once a while as a human being <laughs> uh, just those off quick 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 but you have to be smart to get back in line and follow because sometimes the topics you get confused you don't even understand the tail and then the head so, when you wake up in the middle of your sleep you ask Charlie you're doing so, a drawing uh, Charlie you're doing yeah. Thank you so much. Very Lisa. wonderful lady seated by me. Her name is Akosia Rachel. <laughs> so 
I usually use hell. Has there ever been a time where you didn't understand anything that was taught in class? Like you didn't understand the head or tail of anything? No, it's everything. You don't understand anything. <laughs> So there to me, has there ever been a time where you were mad sleepy in class? Every single <laughs> So has there ever been a time where while you were studying in the library or something, you read over one line like five times? Yeah, I, I mean, it's not like a normal thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you several have times. several times. Okay. Has there ever been a time where you didn't understand the head or tail of anything that was taught in class? Accounting. Accounting. Yeah, like <laughs> Has there ever been a time where in the library you were studying and then you read over one line like five times before? Well, more than five times. It happens, <laughs> it happens all the time, basically. But then, as a lost student, you get to just try and then go back several times until you read it. So it gets better. Right? It's not easy. Alright, great. So, has there ever been a time where you were mad sleepy in class? <laughs> what? I, I can't hear you. I just said today and it was so nice. <laughs> <laughs> you have to see every time, but when it comes, you can't control. I mean, you see yourself dozing off right in front of the lecturer, right, actually. It's just, and it's just like that. Don't worry that Come on, get up and let's continue. continue. Right. I'm, sure, I'm sure the lecturers understand that at a point, you get so tired. I mean, you, you have the advocacy lecturer sometimes saying that, oh, get to ask the devil and then make yeah, you stand. <laughs> Has there ever been a time where you didn't understand the head or tail of anything that was taught in class? Oh yeah, of course. Sometimes. It's never everything that you understand. Right off the bat. Yeah. Sometimes the teacher or the lecturer will say something. Right then, they may not understand, but just make me certain. Yes. And you, you tell yourself that, you know what, when I get home, quickly I'm going to be the answer. I feel you. Alright, okay. cool. Thank you so much. Has there ever been a time where you were really sleepy in class, like it was uncontrollable, you couldn't... Yeah. I think that's also a normal thing for a lot of students. Yeah. yeah so Very normal thing. Thank you. I just chew gum. You what? You chew gum? I chew gum. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, and sometimes I distract myself with my phone. Phone, okay, okay. Just I show you. I don't want to embarrass myself. I show you. Crazy. <laughs> Has there ever been a time where you didn't understand the head or tail of anything that the lecturer was saying in the class? Yeah. Ever been a time like that? Yeah, one or two times. That you had to now go back and go and read on your own to understand? Or get somebody to help, help you. you. One or two times you feel like, well, am I really here for this class? <laughs> I, 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 I think there is that topic where um, you miss the beginning and then you are lost forever. Yeah. And it happens unless somebody feels you. It happens a lot. So. Thank you so much. Have you ever been sleepy in class? Like it was so uncontrollable, you were so Even today. <laughs> <laughs> I almost drifted, but I had to get back. Ah, it'd be so, it'd be so. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Last one. Has there ever been a time where you were in the library studying or reading something and then you had to read over like one line like five times? Yeah. My lady, you yeah. didn't even realize that you were reading yeah. over as one. Something yeah. Something else is taking your attention. Yeah. yeah. Keep on thinking about that the way it's the reading as well. So you keep on going. Or you're feeling sleepy there. Yeah. So when you doze off, then you start to read over again. You doze off, read over again. Or you don't doze off. So you just come back, read it over again. It's normal. Thank you so much. You guys, have, has there ever been a time where you were in the library reading something and then you read over one line like five times? You didn't even realize. You don't go to the library. Oh, oh, you read one line. Exam time is when you go to the library. Oh, yes. So you read like one page uh, for great or great cancer. Has it happened to you guys before? Very normal. Yeah, very normal then. Oh, has, oh, it hasn't happened to you, Ziga. No, why not? <laughs> it has happened I mean, before. I mean, I've, read, I've read one place for a whole day before. <laughs> but I'm not getting it. I come back, I leave it, I go back. I, I mean, just a single case. Because I'm not getting the principle. Oh. I have to make yeah, it to yeah. so exactly what we have been taught. You guys, I really hope you enjoy this video. This is a video to tell you that you can do it if you want to do law or you're trying to get that promotion at work or you're trying to be a doctor, you're trying to be a pilot, whatever it is you're trying to do, the people ahead of you are just like you. They're just human beings like you. So go out there and do you. Just focus, put in hard work and determination and you've got this, okay? Now, mind you, a lot of the people that I, I interviewed, they are some of the smartest people I've ever come across in my life, okay? And they're telling you they get sleepy as well. They read over one line a billion times. You know, all the things that they told you. And they're just like you guys. So don't be looking at people ahead of you and be thinking, 
oh my goodness I could never yes you can and yes you're going to so get your ass up work hard and get into that law school get into the medical school get into that piloting school if piloting school is a thing whatever it is do it okay don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel bye